Thursday afternoon, Louise and her husband John wait with boxes and bags filled, 100 sandwiches prepared over two days' time. Hi, good afternoon. Soon enough, other volunteers arrive for pickup. For the six-week running, Louise's meals will be distributed to the area's homeless. It's always been important to me to give back, and when I can, I do. Louise, Luna, and Sage are part of a silent network that delivers over a thousand meals each week to Santa Rosa's unsheltered. Over the course of three hours, Luna and Sage will drive to dozens of sites, walk to secluded campsites, delivering those 100 chicken sandwiches and also 80 burritos they've prepared to those who need a meal. Hi, I'm Luna. I have a burrito or a chicken sandwich. Everyone involved in this chain must be certified in food handling, delivering to an ever-changing list of campsites. A network of volunteers organized by Sonoma County Acts of Kindness cover one meal every day of the week. This takes a lot of commitment to do. <laughs> it why, does. Why do you do it? Um, humanitarian efforts. It's, you know, these people deserve a home. They deserve food. Since a coronavirus emergency, increasing numbers of the unsheltered have clustered here under Highway 101 downtown. This day, Luna and Sage will deliver around 50 meals here. Is she going to be back? Yeah. I'm going to leave her lunch. All right. I think every little difference helps. Um, if I can feed one person, it's worth it. They're in a tougher spot than I am, and so if I can use my privilege and my better situation to help out other people, I mean, I think that's a, an appropriate use of my better well-being. Sharing, privilege, lending a hand, this is hard work. Those who do it, not out for recognition, but they say something simpler. It's one person caring about another person with no invested interest. Tomorrow, another group of volunteers will walk their beliefs, doing work they say is more critical now than ever. In Santa Rosa, Carl Van Amberg for News of the North Bay.